Hello everyone and welcome back to the Dork Side. I am the Dork in the Road and today I'm showing you all the mods on my DRZ400S. That's right everyone, I am the Dork in the Road and I want to be your internet riding buddy. So please consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on those notifications so that you know when I post awesome new content just like this. This is my 2020 DRZ 400S. It is black, which is the best color, obviously. I've had it for a couple months now, put about 600 miles on it, and uh, one of the things I wanted to do right away when I got it was get it fully set up for the type of riding that I like to do. So mostly I ride in the woods, dual sport exploring, and also occasionally get out on the trails and do some trail riding. I've done pretty much all the mods that I wanted to do right away, and there's been a few of you asking for a closer look at some of those, so this is it. We'll run down all the mods that are on my DRZ400. Pretty exciting. So you're gonna find links to all these mods in the description. Check those out. Uh, those are Amazon affiliate links for the most part, so if you click on one, you support the channel, and it costs you nothing extra, so I call that a win-win. So we're going to start at the bottom with the tire and tube setup. First mod I ordered for this bike was new tires, because the stock tires, the death wings, they do okay on the street, but they're not amazing in softer, muddier type terrains, and we do it, we have a lot of mud here in Oregon, basically year-round. So uh, I swapped them out for these Kenda Trackmasters, front and rear. The Kenda Trackmasters came highly recommended by our friend Stag ADV, who rides a 250L. Check out his channel if you haven't. So put the Kenda Trackmasters on, and while I was in there, I added heavy duty tubes, which cuts down on pinch flats and just gives me a little bit of peace of mind when I'm, you know, 30 miles up in the woods all by myself. And I added, it's hard to see, but the Motion Pro Light Lock Rim Locks. So those are inside the tires too. Inexpensive and a lot less weight, so they, uh, they don't unbalance the tire as much as some standard rim locks. I had them in my 250L too, really enjoyed them, so um, it's a good product, I think. Moving up to the bars, these are the double take mirrors, and I love them because they're easy to adjust, and they're indestructible, they actually have a lifetime warranty. If you're on the highway, great visibility, and then you hit the trails, you can fold them in, and if you break them, they'll replace them. Lifetime warranty, pretty badass. Also went with the Pro Taper Pillow Top Grips, put those on every bike. They're a little dirty now, but they're actually a lot lighter gray when you first put them on. These are the Tusk 30 millimeter bar risers. These are 30 bucks and has made standing up on the bike infinitely more comfortable. Highly recommend, good cheap mod. And then for my phone setup, this is a Ram Ball mount with the, uh, the Ram Orm and then the Quad Lock one inch ball mount adapter. So you also have the case specific to your phone, so this is the Note 9 case. Quad lock is my favorite mount because of how easy it is to put your phone on and off one-handed. And that's super handy for me because I'm on and off the bike a lot taking pictures and stuff, so. Highly recommend the quad lock setup. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's very secure. I've gone down uh, hard <laughs> more than once and it has never failed me, so much recommend. Hand guards are an essential mod for basically any bike that you may drop off-road. So these are the Acherbis X Factories. Really like the look of them. And the black and white, the white bars here, I think, really is, adds a cool accent to it. So I like those. They're really sturdy. Uh, they were easy to install. And they look great. Two mods to show you right here. One is, these are the Deval Aluminum Radiator Guards by Deval Racing. It's actually a match set. There's a pair, so there's one on each side. And these just give your radiator a lot more protection than the stock sort of plastic flimsy thing. And also, right here, this is the Canyon Dancer tie-down ring. Put it on this bolt here, and uh, this thing is supposedly rated up to a thousand pounds, but when I load the bike in the back of the truck, it is so nice to be able to just hook a hook on here and be good to go, rather than trying to find a place to throw it over the handlebars and stuff as I had to do in the past. So these are like nine dollars and an excellent, excellent add-on for any bike you ever put in the back of the truck or load up on a trailer or anything. Highly recommend. So this is not the stock seat. That was one of the other first things I replaced. This is the seat concept seat. I actually got this one used, but uh, you can get a kit, I think, for $180, and if you spend any time at all on the bike, if you ride for more than an hour ever, it is a massive improvement. It really widens out the seating area, and the, the padding is just a lot more comfortable. So, uh, But I haven't given up any ability to maneuver off-road because it stays, or get my feet down, because it stays equally narrow up here at the front. So, great mod, totally worthwhile, highly recommend it. And the bike is really, really dirty because I ride it and I don't wash it every time because I just get dirty again right away. So you'll have to forgive me, but this is proof that the thing actually gets used and doesn't just sit in the garage all modded up. This is the E-Line Accessories Carbon Fiber Skid Plate. Looks like plastic, feels like plastic when you pick it up. It's as, it's as light as plastic, but it's very sturdy, very strong. Uh, I actually got this thanks to an awesome subscriber who sent it to me because he had an extra one. So thank you very much for that, Jim. 
been really helpful. It's worked out really well so far. Um, lightweight, easy to install. Great protection, great peace of mind for the underside of the bike. I've slid it across a few rocks and roots here and there already. These are some generic aluminum case savers from Amazon. I'll put that link in the description. That's a must-have for a DRZ400. You may have seen the video where I installed them, but these magnesium cases are brittle and prone to breakage, so you want some protection on there. So there's one on each side, and they're just, they're just glued on there with RTV silicone. So these are the IMS Racing Super Stock foot pegs. These are the same pegs I had on the CRF250L. I will say that the stock foot pegs on the DRZ400 are woefully inadequate. They're too narrow. Uh, it is nice to have a much wider base like this. I've been very pleased with these on both bikes that I've had them on, and they're the least expensive option. Not a super complicated install, definitely a, a worthwhile upgrade if you're spending any time standing up, which you should be, because that's the point of riding a DRZ, is to do it off-road, and when you're off-road, you gotta stand up. That's a thing. All right, and finally, bags. Uh, I ride in the woods by myself a lot. It is really nice to have storage for survival gear, for tools and all that, and also filming gear, because I, you may know this, but I actually film when I'm in the woods too. And this giant loop setup has been awesome for me. Sturdy, rugged, easy to install, out, completely out of the way. It's never gotten in my way once. Complete faith in its waterproofing and, uh, and just durability. So this is the giant loop Mojave saddle bag, and there's one of these on each side. And they're actually mounted with the giant loop mounts that you can see here. It gives me a quick on and off mounting point for the Mojave bag. And then this is the giant loop Diablo tank bag. And it's seen some action. I've had this one on, on various bikes for over a year, but uh, mostly waterproof, completely waterproof with the inner pouch if you add it. Tons of storage. I get all my camera gear in there all the time. Easy on and off for fueling. Uh, I can swap it between bikes with these harnesses. And it's this rugged sort of trucker tarp material. So highly recommend the Giant Loop gear. So this is my Giant Loop Possibles pouch. And this is filled with all my tire changing gear. So wrenches, tire irons, and spare tubes. These are the Giant Loop pronghorn straps, which is what I use to attach this Possibles pouch to my Giant Loop tail rack. So I use the pronghorn straps to attach it to my Giant Loop tail rack which is attached to the bike with these four bolts. Uh, pretty good versatile option. I can also mount a gas bag or whatever back there. That rack is completely out of the way, unlike some of the other options you see out there, and also inexpensive, it's only 50 bucks. So pretty happy with it so far. When I go trail riding, I take the saddlebags and the possible pouch off and just leave them in the truck. All this stuff is completely out of my way. It takes less than a minute to take it all off. And uh, I just roll with the tank bag, so I've got all my filming gear on me, and uh, it's worked out well so far. And that's it. That's all the mods on my DRZ400 so far. Uh, I'm pretty well set up for the moment. I think the only one other thing I want to add in the near future is a USB charger so I can charge my phone and make sure I have a GPS. So if you have any questions about any of these mods or the DRZ or anything like that, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, there, you'll find links to everything below, as I mentioned. So if you want to check out any of these products, add them to your DRZ. Links below for, for your ordering convenience. And for now, and as always, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. And please, please. Do not forget to be excellent to each other. Thank you. Excellent! Ooh. Hey.